Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Luke and today we're going to be trying to answer the uh, the question, what is a sprite? I know when I first got into Flash that was something I always had trouble understanding and could never really find a uh, good documentation to describe it for me. I recently finished reading a book called uh, Flash Making Things Move that explained things pretty clearly and um, for anybody uh, interested I'll, I'll provide a uh, a link uh, to the actual PDF file and you can give it a read but I've learned more about ActionScript 3.0 in that book than I've ever 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 learned about uh, reading anything else so it's a definite definite recommendation and basically what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is trying to understand what sprites are uh, what packages are, what classes are, uh, and how, how they can be used um, uh, to create better better flash files now without going too much into the complicated details, I'm going to um, go ahead and create a new action script file. Go to File, New, Load Up Flash, and then click in this section right here, a new action script file. Now if you've ever looked at an action script 3.0 class, you've probably been shaking your head wondering, you know, what the heck is this? So just follow along with me, bear with me really quick, and type out package in lowercase letters and then two curly braces. Go ahead and knock that second curly brace down two lines, uh, push it all the way to the side, and then tab over on the second line and type out import flash.display.sprite and then end it with a semicolon. Now, before you can understand what this statement really does, uh, we kind of need to better understand what exactly a sprite is. And the best analogy I can come up with is that a sprite works the same way that a layer does in Photoshop. Most of you coming into a Flash have probably had experience with Photoshop and know that in order to, you know, make a pretty decent Photoshop document, lots of layers are required to uh, separate and make make all of the shapes and different objects you're using independent of one another. Uh, the sprite class, which is what we're importing here, allows us to do that same thing. It allows us to create sprites, move them around on the stage, reposition them, and draw objects into them. Draw images, draw shapes, uh, import information into, etc. Now Photoshop's a lot more intuitive than Flash is. Uh, you know, if if you're using Action Script to actually code out and draw objects to the stage, what you basically have to do is send in a second import statement. Now in Flash and and Photoshop, you've got this little toolbar right here that allows you to really easily just draw shapes. But what if you wanted to do it with code, which is what a lot of people do? Uh, you've basically got the rectangle tool, you've got the circle tool. You would just click and drag and draw out a circle to the stage. Now, if you're doing that through code you need to import the graphics class. So import flash.display.graphics and that's basically going to give us a, a, a pro programmatic shape tool that we can use uh, to, to manipulate shapes and draw them out, uh, modify their fill colors and everything that you would be able to do uh, with just the uh, basic tool palette on Photoshop. Okay, so now we've got two import statements, flash.display and then the sprite class, and then flash.display.graphics. You'll notice before both of these, you're using a, a dot syntax to kind of scale um, almost like a file system. It's, it's the same way. Uh, you know, in Windows, you would type in like a file name and then you know, song.mp3. This is kind of the same structure, um, except you're using dots instead of slashes, where you've got this package named display. So flash.display, where display is the name of the package, and inside that package, just like song.mp3 is inside of this file name, uh, this is just a, an analogy. It's not, it's not actually how you would uh, go about going into different folders, but it works the same exact way. A package is basically just a group of related classes. So if you had a folder with a bunch of rock songs in it, you know, the package could actually be called rock songs. And it's the same way here. We're using the sprite class in the display package and we're using the graphics class in the display package to draw shapes to layers that we add uh, uh, through ActionScript 3.0. Okay, so go down a line and then we're going to start creating our own class. So type out public class. We're going to name ours example with a capital E. You always use a capital letter for the name of your class by convention. Uh, and then we're going to type out extends sprite with a capital S. And then two more curly braces. Knock that second one down, make it nice and pretty, and we are good to go. 
So what does this part mean right here where it says extend sprite? That was always kind of confusing to me to grasp. And now while I'm thinking back, maybe the uh, layer analogy wasn't such a good one because in Photoshop, you know, you can move graphics around in a layer, but you can't really move the layer. In Flash, it's a little bit different. You can actually uh, manipulate the X value and the, the Y value of an actual layer in Flash. And so basically what we're saying is we want our class example to inherit all of those basic properties, uh, the X value, the Y value, we'll be able to take whatever we make in this class and move it around in whatever way we want. Um, we can move the graphics around in it. We can move the entire container around with all of the graphics in it. We can change the order of those sprites just like we can change the order of layers in Photoshop. And by ex uh, by write writing this out this way, public class example extend sprite, we're telling Flash we want our class example to be able to have all of that functionality if we choose to use it. So we've gone ahead and created the constructor function. Now we need some code to run within it. So type out var sprite one. It's going to be of the sprite data type because we're using the sprite class right here. And then it's going to be equal to a new sprite with the parentheses and then semicolon. And this is basically, sprite one is basically a new sprite object that we have created. Now, just like in Photoshop, you would click uh, that little button in the uh, layers palette to uh, add a new layer. You have to type out add child and parentheses semicolon and inside type out the name of the sprite.